I said right at the beginning of this course that our approach combines a layered approach with repetition to build up your understanding of the elements and how they interact. Subsequent coverage can then build recall of what you have come to understand. So far, we have seen the complete journey through the process model, but only a fraction of its details. And if you can recall any of those details, then your recall is quite exceptional. Well done. If everything is a swirling mass of facts and fragments, then at this stage, don't worry. Focus on understanding what we've covered as we cover it, rather than seeking to hoard all the details. To summarise, we have discussed seven principles, seven themes, seven processes, nine roles and 26 management products. Those are the templates from Appendix A and are grouped as baselines, records and reports. We have given the definition of baseline, record and report and we have been definitive about the seven principles. The seven themes are topical views along the timeline while the seven processes are slices of concurrent thematic activity that are needed to honour the principles as the project progresses day by day or stage by stage. That's two perspectives. Processes and activities are everything we do today. Themes are everything we do across time within some particular topic. The integrated view of the history of a theme and the mixed themes of an activity are required for understanding of the whole. As we continue to develop an appreciation of how the seven themes implement the seven principles via a cross-section of the activities in the project's timeline, be aware that the practitioner exam in particular expects that you appreciate the interactions, but it still expresses its scope based on the official manual's chapter structure. The syllabus area aligns to the seven themes, business case, organisation, quality, plans, risk, change and progress, or why we're doing this, what are the benefits, who's doing it and what are their delegation and reporting lines, what do we have to produce and how good does it need to be, and here the quality review technique is a component part, we hadn't mentioned that previously, who, when and how we will do this, which creates the baselines, what may occur that's less than certain, i.e. where do we need a plan A and a plan B? How do we handle situations when things are either not as planned or the plan is not as we now want it to be? I. How do we do change or minor replanning? Major replanning is the exception handling process. And in order to be able to do all of the above, we need to know where we are against baseline. So the progress theme. The exam also takes the seven processes as potential areas to ask as questions. But while a theme question will always have to be about some process and some role and some principle, so a process question will always have to be about some theme or, and principle and roles. The seven processes we should recognise now as the project board making all of the decisions that oversee the project's direction, the starting up a project process which is not part of a stage which defines team and task the initiating a project process which is the major component of the initiating a project stage and defines strategies and plans the controlling a stage process which is the day-to-day -day interaction between project manager and upwards project board and downwards team members and team managers the managing product delivery process, which is the day-to-day -day work of the specialists producing the project's products. The managing stage boundaries process, which is the periodic refresh of the project plan, business case and risks, and the creation of a new detailed who does what on what day stage plan. And the closing a project process, which is the bringing of the activity of the project to an orderly close in order that those who come after the project and use the products take responsibility for the products produced and the project closes down and releases its staff. The exam is based thus around these seven processes, seven themes and the binding elements of chapters 1, 2 and 3 of the official manual which are described as the overview. Let's use the next video to start the explicit description of the linkages and interrelationships about how theme and activity are woven together.